Hello guys, it's f Racers back with another track guide where I'm going to help you become a very quick driver on Forza. Today we're at Daytona, a track I'm particularly familiar with after the weekend's Tora Daytona 24 hour race which you saw the trailer of just a few days ago. So I'm keen to tell you anyway what I learned from my race there. I'll be using footage from a lap I did during the race, driving my F4H BMW Z4 GT3 car, a remarkably fun and balanced car to drive. Remember, when choosing your car for driving Daytona, top speed is absolutely everything. We were running with barely any aero on our car, as you can gain so much time on the long straights alone. Anyway, let's go for a lap and I'll talk you through what you see. You have a long time before you begin the lap to collect your thoughts and prepare for the braking zone of turn 1. This is lucky, as picking the right braking point into the first turn is actually very tricky. You can't rely on the braking line at all into turn 1 either, and you have to practice braking as efficiently as possible in order to hit the apex, as I'll now demonstrate. On entry, get out as wide as you can, getting as close to the wall as possible. Then, turn in early and try to brake in a straight line for as long as you can before you are forced to turn into the corner once again. Now, to help you pick a braking point, look at the white lines on the track surface and experiment with your braking point until you find a suitable reference. In this car, I will brake as soon as I pass this line here. It would then swing me nicely onto the apex of the corner. Having a reference like this also massively helped with my consistency, something that's obviously needed for a 24 hour race in my example. You haven't got long before you reach the next right. Get out wide on entry, braking as hard as you can without locking up. Then turn in and try to get as close to the inside curve as possible. Then get on the throttle, avoiding wheel spin where possible, and this will give you the exit you need. Take advantage of this exit as you head up this small straight. For the left kink, do not miss the inside apex under any circumstances, otherwise you'll just drift out wide onto the outside grass and it's quite an embarrassing mistake to make. You're then into another corner that's fairly similar to turn 3. Again, brake hard and late without locking up and then turn in and keep the car as close to the inside curve as possible for the best exit. Now you just have to think about this small but critical left hand onto the banking. This is a slow in, fast out corner. Brake early and ensure you hit this inside kerb. Every inch wide you go around this corner literally loses you about a tenth of a second off your time, so this is crucial to get right. Then get on the throttle as early as possible to get a great run up the very long banking. The banking is the best place on the game to practice being smooth on the steering. Don't tap the steering around here as it will slow you down, but try to be smooth like what I'm doing here. As this was such a long race, I found myself sitting in cockpit view, as the visual reference of the steering wheel helped me. For the chicane, aim for the inside curbing, and most likely you'll have to aim to get two wheels on the inside grass in order to get the best run through it. Keep tight to the inside, then getting on the throttle well enough so that you can carry the maximum amount of speed as possible on the exit. Now, with that pretty much complete, you can focus on just your smooth application of the steering as we power along the iconic banking of Daytona. I hope you all enjoyed this track guide, be sure to check out the other tracks I've done and you can find them either hanging out around on my channel or in a playlist I'm going to link in the description. Thanks for all the support as always recently, really good to see and if we could hit 30 likes it would be absolutely insane. Anyway, cheers everyone and I'll see you next time.